Good morning, everybody. Happening now, massive effort to get your lights back on this morning after those strong storms ripped down some trees and power lines and caused a lot of damage in the area. Let's get right to Mo Hyder, live in Donaldson this morning. And we've got to look at efforts to clean everything up, Mo. Maybe this one specific neighborhood really looks like a tornado just tore through it last night. We've been driving around. This is probably the worst I've seen today. Uh, just take a look right behind me. This tree, large tree rather, just knocked over pull from the roots, pull from the ground. Even look at that hole to the bottom of it. Look how quite deep it is. And back over here, all the torn branches and broken branches and the debris just all pushed to the side, covered with yellow tape. It's going to take quite some time, of course, to clean all this up and just walk across the street with me. It doesn't end over there. Just take a look how catastrophic this storm was. This is a clear indication. Look at this trampoline. It flew from across this home, flipped over, parts of it even bent, even some of the legs snapped off clearly. More than likely, this is not fixable. And you mentioned how long it's going to take for a lot of the power outages to come, come back down. And that number is fluctuating. We keep checking the NES website. All that's all because of the coronavirus. Because of that, a lot of restrictions are put in place. Only two crew members can sit inside a vehicle. Also, shifts are being staggered to spread out the number of employees as well. But the good thing is we're hearing that contract crews are also coming to help clean up the process. But again, it still could take quite some time. So it looks like it's going to be a very long and tough morning here in Donaldson. Love in Donaldson, Mahider News Channel 5.